I'm the bald guy, and these are bald guy basics. Today I have a, a review of a very simple product. We actually received this as a gift, uh, and I love my technological toys, and I love music, so you know, one of the reasons you see me always wearing headphones, number one, I hate to hold a phone to my ear, and number two, I love having music at my fingertips all the time. What we received is JBL's Bluetooth speaker known as the Clip. And the Clip because it comes with a carabiner on top and you can hook it on to, uh, you can hook it on to your backpack straps, to your bike, to, you know, to whatever you are near to, even to your belt. But this is a neat little Bluetooth speaker. Uh, the Clip 5 comes in a variety of colors. This is the squad color, which is basically camo. But this little jewel is about 10 watts uh, of power. So when, when you turn this thing on, not only do you get a good quality sound all the way up almost to full volume. Uh, at full volume, you start to get some, some distortion, but you get 12 hours of playtime on this thing with a single charge, which is really substantial. Um, I, you know, I would play it for you let me get my phone out. But I've got to pick something that, um, let me, I know where I can get something here. I've got to pick something that um, I'm not going to get a copyright problem here. All right, I had to switch a battery out. Uh, I wanted to look up something on my phone that I, I was not worried about a copyright violation. And of course, I'm using a GoPro camera, so the audio is uh, limited at best for you, but you got a play button in the middle and then your volume. So what I've done there, um, that was my cousin's band, by the way. Uh, what I did there is just turn it up and no, you couldn't tell it, but I can feel this thing vibrating, uh, not just a little either. It has good power. Uh, it has good sound. It is extremely solid build. Your, your power button, your Bluetooth connect here. And this thing has uh, the advantage that most Bluetooth items don't have in that you can string up to three of these together. There's a, a third button here to connect to other click speakers. Um, and so you could have a three piece sound system all playing from the same source. So it's a really neat thing. Uh, it has two more hours than the previous version, the click four, uh, this being the click five, you see it there in the corner, a really neat product for you audiophiles. Uh, the wife and I like to bicycle and <laughs> we are alike in so many things, but one thing we are not alike, she will be chugging along on her bike and see somebody with their headphones on and say, I can't believe somebody would be listening to music. And I'm back here listening to music. <laughs> so, uh, if we, if I were riding along, this would make a really nice way to hear, um, music without using a headset, uh, it's a night. It's big enough that you can use it in a in a social setting, to have you know at a cookout or something, and you could really produce a pretty decent sound even in an open place. I love it for when I'm working. So, it's a really neat thing. This thing retails at seventy nine ninety five. Um, I was looking earlier, and there's the the Click Four is still on the market. You can get the Click Four at about fifty bucks right now on Amazon with some discounts, but, uh, you know, I'm thinking of some of the other Bluetooth speakers that have been available over the years. Uh, the, um, what was it? The Jawbone by Jabra had really good sound, but that thing was like $300. I always kind of wanted one of those, but I'm not going to spring for $300 for a, a speaker. I can, I can get a plug-in speaker that's cheaper than that. And of course, this one was a gift. I don't know that I would have spent personally 80 bucks for this, but as a gift, I can tell you, I really like this. So 
this is just uh, for you audio files out there or those of you who have need of a nice sound projection device for your phone or your iPad or your tablet, I guess for you non-Apple people, I don't understand you, but I, I, I appreciate that you're out there. And I am really impressed. I've just started playing with it today, but my initial impressions really good. <laughs> I've set the dog off. The other thing I like about this is along with the, um, the very rudimentary instruction manual, which is more pictographs than anything. It's got a picture of the button and what it does. Um, one of the nice things about it, there is a panel here in the instructions and you can scan here and it will allow you to download an app that includes an equalizer so you can control your sound. So it's a really neat device. Uh, something you might want to consider those of you who like to uh, have your music played with some quality. I'm the Bald Guy. I hope you'll subscribe, leave us a like, and we'll see you on the next video.